Hi, welcome to the Coffee Chat Show here on Buzzing Padia, the show where we talk about things that are currently happening right here, right now in Padia and around Thailand. Now, before we get into today's show, please remember to subscribe. And if you want to know when we've uploaded a video, just hit the bell icon and that will notify you. Okay, so today's question, would Padia survive without the nightlife? So there's a lot of talk going on at the moment saying that they're trying to suppress the nightlife here, they're trying to clean up our image, etc, etc. And okay, okay, we get that. But think about the impact it will have on Padia. Padia is not what I consider to be an idyllic destination. It's world famous and it's world famous for pretty much one reason, but it is world famous. Now, in my opinion, there are three reasons why they could not take out the nightlife of Padia. And I'll tell you those reasons. The first reason... Cast your mind back about two months ago now, and Thailand was making big noises saying they want to clean up the image of Thailand and they want to attract the high owners, the big spenders. And that makes perfect sense. I get that. But does that affect Padia? Would a high owner come to Padia? What would he come here for? Yes, he'll go to Phuket, Krabi, or to you know, Koh Samui, some of these picture postcard idyllic islands. Yes, absolutely. I get why people would go there to spend their money. And I understand why Thailand want to try and clean it up and they were making mention to saying that they wanted to try and reduce the amount of backpackers etc etc and try and make it a a more idyllic place get that no argument with me whatsoever but it doesn't affect Padia because Padia doesn't have those beaches you know you think about what's around us we've got Koh Lan, Koh Si Chang we've got Banan Per, we've got Ban Sarai yes they're nice I'm not saying anything about that but they're not picture postcard locations they're not in the world of beaches up there in the top 50. So again, that doesn't bring the replacement if you was to take out the nightlife with the high owners. The next thing and the second reason is, think about if you didn't have the beaches, which which we don't, and we don't have nightlife, well, how else would people come here? For what? It's not the Bangkok city, it's not the, like, the New Yorks of this world. People go to these big cities to experience the city lifestyle, to experience the thrive, the, you know, the hustle and the bustle and, and everything that's going on. But they won't come to Paddy because it's not a big city. If you look at Paddy and compare it to, say, Karat, for instance, now Karat is a huge place, huge place, t- 10 times the size of Paddy. Bangkok is huge. And it's, and it's got such an infrastructure, you know, the BTS, the high-rise skyscrapers and stuff that's going on. There's so much for you to go and experience. But what does Paddy have? It has Terminal 21, the Central Festival, has a shopping mall, Royal Garden Plaza, has a lot of tourist attractions and has some golf courses. But is that enough? Is that enough to draw enough people into this city to support the city if you was to stop the nightlife. And I don't think it would. I don't think you would get that amount of people coming here to replace the amount of people you would lose if you closed down that. And my last question is, well, okay, let's just imagine that you do. You do shut down the nightlife here. Well, what happens to all the thousands of people that will now be unemployed? Think about all those people that not only work here, but are sending money back to their families to support their families. And that now that income is now gone because they've shut it all down. How would that work? What impact will that have on Thailand? Because will it increase the crime rate? Would it increase the the poverty here? How would it affect us? Because if you if you make say ten thousand people unemployed, which is probably a, a low figure compared to how many people actually work here, and you make them unemployed because you've taken away their industry, well, how would we? How would that impact Thailand? What would that do? So they're the three reasons I think, for, for my own opinion, that there is no chance that they will shut down the nightlife. Maybe they'll shuffle it around a little bit. That's quite possible. Maybe they'll try and hide it a little bit. That's quite possible. But they're not going to stop it. And all the people right now that are walking around with the doom and gloom saying, Paddy is over, it's had its day, it's, the, the ship sailed. Guys, come on, let's think about the bigger picture. If you was to shut it all down... Think about what the impact would be. And yes, whether we like it or not, Paddy is world famous for the nightlife here. Why would you possibly take all that away? Because people come here just to experience walking street. People come here just to experience the nightlife. And people come here to enjoy what's available here in Paddy. So, what do you think? Do you think that 
Paddy could sustain closing all the nightlife. What do you think they're going to do? How do you think that they're going to try and address this situation if they are going to address it? Drop us a comment below. Let us know what you think and tell us how you think that this will impact us if they was to shut down the nightlife here. Okay, so that's Coffee Chat for today. Uh, nice and easy, nice and simple. Remember, comment below, drop us a comment, let us know what you think. Please subscribe. Remember, hit the bell icon if you want to be notified. And uh, that's it from me today. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.